Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I am going to be doing another video on my nails, which I know sounds ridiculous because I've only just done these, but I just really want to do some more watch me works and I'm not 100% doing on client, 100% confident doing it with clients yet. I will get there, but for now I'm just going to do my own. So I'm going to take the length down quite a lot. So I'm going to do that first. Okay, so oh, I'm just talking myself in because I've just got my file. It's super, super easy for me to file these down like lengthwise because they are just full on tips. If you want to see how I did this set, then head over to that video. It is already up. Um, but yeah, I just, it's super, super easy to file these because obviously they are just plastic. So they file down like butter, which is fab. Um, I'm just straightening them off a little bit. And then I probably will do this about a hundred times during the set because I'm really obsessive with filing it's very annoying but this is what they look like i actually really like them you know i'm not gonna lie i actually prefer them really short which is like weird because i don't usually like short nails but i'm really loving them at the moment well i usually don't mind them in other people and stuff on myself i don't really tend to go short so i'm just gonna file off the color and then we'll see what we're working with underneath because i have got a feeling that there's going to be some lifting because even though i haven't done them that long ago um one builder gel just doesn't seem to like my nails very much like gel in general i always wear acrylic because gel just doesn't really agree with me uh and two i didn't apply them very well like as you would have saw in the video had air bubbles and stuff which obviously isn't okay but i only did that because i knew i was going to be changing them so let's have a look So this is like what they're looking like at the moment. I'm going to file the free edge again just because, like I said, I am crazy. Um, to be honest, they're not looking too bad. I mean, we've got a slight lifting around the cuticle area, but other than that, we're looking we're looking really good. Which I know, obviously, is not surprising because they're only a week old, but I am surprised. I've got lifting around the side wall of this nail. You can't really see it on camera, but it is there. Um, but yeah, like I said, I didn't really apply them very well, so I was sort of expecting more lifting at this point but no we're doing okay so that's good not as much to sort out there i'm gonna get rid of the lifting lifting off camera um just because like just want to get into the fun stuff for the video um so i am just gonna file away the lifting around the cuticle area with a hand file uh just because i want to be really really careful about what i'm filing um because obviously they're not grown out at all which means that there isn't like a gap between my nail that would help if it would focus on my hand wouldn't it really instead of the dust behind me but there we go so um there isn't like a gap between the the enhancement and my cuticle area like it's pretty much up against it and i don't want to accidentally nick my skin um the red that is all over these fingers is polish it's from a video that i've just finished filming before this one so just ignore that but yeah i'm going to use my hand file just so i've got a little bit more control and i can see exactly where i'm filing get off that uh lifting and then i'm not actually going to like obviously it's not really an infill because like i said they're not grown out but i'm not going to fill in the areas where i remove the lift in i'm just going to make sure that they're nice and smooth and like flat to my nail so it doesn't look weird and bumpy with polish on top um because i'll, I'll just infill them like a little bit earlier instead of waiting a couple of weeks sort of thing 
So I'm going to get along and do that because obviously underneath the enhancement itself, the full on tip, there is builder gel. So even if I file off the tip itself, the builder gel remains underneath and the base coat is still there, blah, blah, blah. So it's still protecting my natural nail from the colour that I'm going to apply. So I'm going to do that off camera and then we can get into a design. Okay, so I've decided what I'm going to have. So I'm just going to quickly show you that. This is what my nails are looking like at the moment. This all here looks like lifting, but it's not. It's just where it's really, really thin. Um, So it just looks a little bit different to everywhere else. But I have taken off like a lot of product from around my cuticle area. So before I go in with gel polish, I am just going to apply a base coat. I'm going to use Super Base um, because I just feel like it would do a better job of evening it all out. Like the little bits that are a little bit thin and stuff like that so i'm going to apply this off camera because it's pretty boring to just clear um i'm just going to be applying it to all of my nails just normally how you would a base coat like that just everywhere and then we can come back and do the design i'm going to be using sheer pink from gel perfection um and then i'm going to be using pearl aurora chrome from tia's beauty my mind went really blank then and then i'm also going to be using these flakes from magpie which are the jessabelle flakes and then I'm going to be using this plate here from Born Pretty, which is decoration L001. And I think I'm going to go for this up here because how cute is that? But we will see when it comes to it. So I'm going to apply this base coat first. So this is what they look like now they've been base coated. So I'm going to use my Gel Perfection Sheer Pink and I'm going to pop a coat on every nail. Um, I'm going to do one coat of this on the index finger, pinky finger and thumb because this is just going to be like a base for the chrome powder. Um, I'm only going to cure it for half the time to keep the tacky layer because I'm going to be applying the chrome powder to like the tacky sort of layer instead of actually as a proper chrome, um, just to give it a different type of effect. And then the middle two are going to have two coats of this on and they're going to be a base for the flakes, which again, when it comes to it, I will only cure the base like that I want the flakes to stick to uh, for 30 seconds but because the flakes are not going to cover the whole nail I am going to do two coats of the pink on these two so we're doing a coat on all of them we'll then do the index finger pinky finger and thumb and then we can base coat that dust to seal that in pop it in the lamp I don't know why I'm explaining to you like everything we're going to do like all in one go when I could just tell you as we go along um, to make life easier. It's very confusing. But I just want to make it clear that I am only doing one coat on the index finger, pinky finger and thumb. And we're going to cure it for half the time, which means that we will definitely have to make sure that after we've put our dust on, we pop it back in the lamp for another 30 seconds so it does get a full cure because you don't want it to be half cured and left on the nail half cured. So always remember that if you do not do a full cure all at once, that you need to like eventually have done it completely. So I'm just popping a coat on here. I love this sheer pink it's absolutely beautiful it's really really good like as a base for designs where you don't want like a lot of color like you just want a nice neutral base with a nice little design on top this one is perfect so i'm just going to pop those in the lamp for 30 seconds so to apply this i'm going to use my tubby brush from tia's beauty i have quite a few of these for different gosh for different things like one of them is for my white pigment one of them is for stuff like this, then one is for glitter, so I don't get them all stuck in each other. So I'm just going to get my product and I'm moving the, the nails that I don't want this on out of the way because obviously I don't want to get this all over them when they're not supposed to have it on them. But look at that, it's just beautiful and obviously when we base coat it you'll be able to see it better. But I'm just going to do it on the pinky, getting that ring finger as far away from it as possible, which isn't 100% easy. Um... But there we go and then just the thumb if your polish that you use has a good tacky layer like when it's fully cured then you don't need to half cure it i'm only doing that because gel perfections polishes don't have a fab tacky layer like it's not very tacky basically so i'm just dusting the excess off those fingers with a fluffy dusty brush 
although you're basically just going to have to brush like clean it off at the end then once i've applied that it's absolutely beautiful we're going to pop it back in for another 30 seconds and then we're going to apply base coat over the top of the pigmented nails and then at the same time as base coating those three we'll be able to put another coat of sheer pink on the two middle ones and they can go back in the lamp for 30 seconds we can apply the flakes to those so they're all fully cured now i'm now going with base coat on the three that have got the pigment on just is absolutely beautiful i love the tears beauty aurora pigments all of them are just stunning this one just stood out for this set so that's why i chose this color so i'm just i'm not sure if you can hear the bark in the background it's my dog she's playing with my other dog um i think my mom's in there as well just winding them up even more just to add to the drama um anyway so i'm just applying base coat nice and sparingly you don't want too much where it's not going to cure but you want to make sure that you're floating it over the top of that pigment so it really like encapsulates all of it and there isn't any other that doesn't have any on this will also protect your top coat as well because you won't get it all in that and then once i've done that i'm going to pop another coat of sheer pink on the middle two nails then we're going to put this in the lamp for 30 seconds, apply our flakes and then put in for another 30 to make sure that this sheer pink is fully cured because the base coat that I've just applied does only need 30 seconds cure. That gel colour that I'm using needs 60. Absolutely love this gel polish. Sheer pink is just beautiful. Without the hairs anyway. There's always got to be one for every single set. <laughs> there we go, got that. So once I've applied that, again, just pop it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Obviously, those pigment nails will look way better, like when they're clean <laughs> and all the excess isn't around my skin, but we'll wait to the end to wash my hands to get that off. So for these nails, I'm going to use the same brush that I've just used, and I'm just going to pick up some flakes and just place them on the nail randomly. I'm not covering the whole nail. I'm mainly just covering like the middle of the nail, but making sure there is a couple on the sides as well. I've just picked up way too much for that one. I'm just going to brush that off. And then once I've done that and I'm happy with them, I'm going to pop that in the lamp for 30 seconds. I'm now going to apply base coat onto those two middle ones as well because we're going to be stamping and I don't want to stamp directly onto flakes because it can look a bit strange like with the texture and stuff. So just to make sure that it's nice and smooth for me to stamp on, I'm going to pop a coat of base coat on and then we can stamp onto that and it'll be nice and smooth. We're not going to have any lumps and bumps underneath from where the flakes are because even though they lie flat, they're still obviously a different type of texture than a gel would be. So I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. I'm then going to remove the tacky layer from that base coat from those two nails so I can stamp on top because my base coat has quite a tacky layer and sometimes it's almost like wet so the stamping doesn't really stick very well. Well, it sticks but it goes a bit like it just, I don't know, I find the, the polish difficult to dry when it's on a really, really sticky, sticky layer. So we're going in, like I said, with this one up here, which is really, really cute. Just this little, little dandelion thing. So I'm just going to make sure that the image is clean and then wipe over it with my finger to make sure there's no excess like fur <laughs> like anything on there that is going to like ruin my image basically i think i'm going to use that one and this one over here because that's really different um i don't think i want both nails the same but i'm going to have a look see what it looks like when i've done this one so i'm just going to go straight in with the stamping i've got my stamper and scraper next to me so I'm just going to pop that on, scrape off the excess. It's a bit awkward when it's up in the corner um, because obviously it's on an angle, but it's all right. I've managed to pick it up. There we go. And then I'm just going to apply this onto the middle nail. It would be really useful if it could focus. And I'm going to apply that right in the middle on top of those flakes. That is really, really cute. I'm not sure if you can see that. Look how sweet that is. I love that. So yeah, I'm going to go in with this one down here just to make it a little bit different on the other nail. I'm just going to, again, make sure that's nice and clean. Go over with my finger. And then apply a bit of polish to the image. Pull off the excess at a 45 degree angle. Got to clean my stamper, but never mind. 
and then I'm just getting off any bits that I don't want that have stuck to my stamper. And then I'm going to put this one right in the middle of that nail. Look how cute that is, it's so different. And then all I need to do then is just top coat and then I can finally wash my hands. So I'm going to be using Blue Skies No Wipe Top Coat because it was their base coat that I used as well. So I'm just going to apply this to all of my nails, make sure that I get everywhere. If you do get any on your skin, just make sure to remove it before you put it in the lamp. But obviously, try your best not to do that in the first place so you don't have to worry about removing it. And then I'm going in and just top coating the others. So I'm going to do this quickly off camera and then wash my hands and then we can see how they turned out. So this is the finished look. I absolutely love how they turned out. I think they're really, really cute. Very, very different for me, but I actually love them. Um, let me know what you think and whether you'd wear this design or not. I just, I don't know, I just think they're really cute. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, the, ugh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back really, really soon with another one. Bye.